hello everyone it's been a while since i've done like a deep cleaning video and i thought today would be the perfect opportunity to do one i also want to do a bit of organizing as well because i need to go through and declutter my wardrobe and there's just like a few cupboards in the apartment that I haven't been through in ages. So I want to dedicate the day today to doing a deep clean and an organize. I feel like I have to really psych myself up for these days, but I think once we get started and we get the momentum going, it will get a lot easier. But right now I'm just like, oh, anyway, this video is meant to be motivation for you guys. So we're going to make it fun. I've got myself a coffee and I hopefully will make the apartment super clean because we've actually got an inspection tomorrow and I want to make sure it's really nice when the real estate agent comes around. We've just got one of those like half yearly inspections just to check that we're looking after the place. So yeah, good excuse to do a deep clean, but hopefully this video gives you guys some motivation and let's get started. I feel like the best way to start these cleaning days is by popping your sheets in the wash and of course it's so nice at the end of the day once everything's clean to pop fresh sheets on the bed so that's what I did to start with. As much as I try to keep my dressing table tidy it just never seems to really happen so I tidied this up a little bit before getting into wiping it down I just used some multi-purpose spray to do this and I decided to make the area a little bit more clutter free I thought I'd move the case that has my shark flex style in it so I took out any of like the tools that were in there and popped them in a drawer and then just moved the case somewhere else so that I had more room on my dressing table So my acrylic shelf needed a little bit of tidying up and organizing so I pulled everything off and gave it a wipe down before going through and reorganizing it. I started off by having this really organized and then I think over time I just started chucking random stuff on there so it was definitely due a tidy up and I like to keep my everyday products on here like my everyday makeup, hair care, skincare and things like that and then I store everything else elsewhere but this area was looking so much better. I also noticed that my peacefully plant was needing a little bit of love, there were a few dead leaves on there that I needed to pull off and I honestly think that my robot vacuum accidentally vacuums up the leaves sometimes I feel like that's what's been killing it but anyway I thought I'd give it a water just to make sure I am being a good plant mum. I then moved on to cleaning our mirror I just used some window and glass cleaner for this I also decided to clean around our windows I just used a wet cloth to do this we get bits of condensation on these windows and sometimes bits of mold pop up so I make sure to wipe that away because obviously that's not good and finally I just did a dust and a wipe down of all of the surfaces so our bedside tables above our bed and then I also did the skirting boards as well. I feel like the skirting boards are that one thing that don't get done that often. They honestly weren't too bad but the room was literally immaculate at this point. Okay so I've just finished deep cleaning the bedroom. It's all nice and clean now and I'm going to get on to doing some decluttering of my wardrobe. I recently actually rearranged this a little bit and this area is now actually a storage space for my small business elements of presence so I don't keep really any clothes in there other than my activewear now. I'll show you guys, but this is what I've done with this section. I've just got like a bunch of like my packing stuff in there and then down the bottom we've just got some drawers which have my pajamas and then I've got my activewear in some baskets down there. But this area is mainly where I keep my clothes and where I really need to go through. I do hang quite a lot of my clothes, but I've also got these little baskets from Ikea, which are literally overflowing right now. So yeah, there's that that I need to go through and then my shoes are down the bottom. So I think instead of pulling like all of the clothes out, I'm just going to go through it and then just pull things out that I want to donate. But then for these baskets, I think I'm going to have to just like get them out and like really go through them because there's a lot in there.
These are looking much tidier now, so I'm gonna pop them back in my wardrobe. This is how the donation pile is going so far. We've got quite a lot of clothes. I think I'm gonna clear this out even more and put a lot of my summer stuff aside and just put it in storage because most of these summer dresses I probably won't wear until I go to Europe, which is in September. And I also think it could be nice to put that stuff aside and then it can be exciting to go through and see what I've got to choose from for when I go on my trip. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that and then I'll have more storage space for like winter stuff. This looks so much better now. So we've got a lot of my winter stuff in here. I've kept like my crop tops and like dressy tops in here because I figured that I'll still probably wear them in winter, but I'll just like layer them up with a jumper and stuff. But as for like short dresses, I don't think I'll really wear them until summer just because like my legs will be cold. So this is what I've got, a bit more space. And then down here, we've just got my tops, my bottoms, hoodies, and then tracky bottoms around there. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. And this is a big donation pile. I'm gonna have some friends over at some point to go through it and then whatever they don't want, I'll donate. But I've also separated my summer clothes. And then here we have a big pile of all of the clothes I'm keeping that are for summer. So I'm just gonna put them in a container, keep them in the storage cage. And then when it gets warmer, I'll go through them and like see what I wanna keep. I've now got so many hangers left over though and I have no idea where to put them or like how to store them so I've got to figure that out. That actually took longer than I expected but I'm really glad that it's done now. Brayden's actually popping to Kmart for me. He's the best and he's going to get some storage boxes so that I can store those clothes in the storage cage. So yeah, it'll be good once all of the clothes are out of here but the final thing I need to do for this room is a vacuum. <laughs> Now this might be an unpopular opinion, but my favorite thing to clean is definitely the sinks. I just find it so satisfying for some reason. So I'll first of all just like scrub away any remnants and then I'll go in with the pink stuff cream and I'll just scrub away and it makes it just smell a lot nicer and obviously just gets rid of all of the grime. And then to clean the drains, I just do a scoop of baking soda and then vinegar and pop the plugs in and then like I let it kind of do its thing and clean the drains and I also made sure to give the tap and faucet a bit of a clean and polish. I then went and moved my kettle and toaster so that I could clean the surfaces. Does anyone else's toaster get crumbs absolutely everywhere? My toaster for some reason just like has so many crumbs coming out the bottom. I think I need to get a new one. That one's from Kmart but I want to get like a nicer toaster so if you have any recommendations let me know but I just wiped down the surfaces then moved the grids off of the stovetop and gave that a wipe down. I also really like using the pink stuff paste for around the edges of the stovetop because sometimes like grime gets in the little crevices and I just find this is a really easy way to give it a clean and yeah then I went and did the splashback. I just used some glass cleaner for this and that always just makes such a difference and makes the kitchen look so much more sparkly. Then I decided to move my coffee machine and ice maker out the way so I could clean the surfaces under here which I hadn't done in a little while so definitely it was due and I also had like a bit of an accident when I was making pancakes one time and got a bit of splatter on the wall. <laughs> So here I am cleaning it off. It came off really easily just with some water and a cloth. But yeah, don't ask me why I'm only getting around to getting that off the wall now. But anyway, I did it. And then finally, I just used some bleach spray on the countertop just to make sure it was really nice and white and pristine. And then I just disinfected it again. <laughs>
kitchen's now cleaned and Brayden's got home with these two massive containers from Kmart. So I'm gonna pop a bunch of clothes in here so my friends can go through them and then I'm also gonna pop my summer stuff in the other one. Brayden's now cleaning the guest room bathroom and then I'll get on to doing the other bathroom and you guys will see in a bit when I show you the bathroom but we've been having a few issues in the other bathroom with mold which isn't ideal so we've been trying to remove it and then it just keeps coming back so we're a little bit worried that there's maybe a leak above us or something so anyway we'll talk to our real estate agent tomorrow when they come but we'll show you guys what it's like but it's kind of concerning because it's not really good to be around mold and that's the bathroom that we use the most so we're gonna actually move all of the stuff from that bathroom to this one today so that we don't have to like use that one anymore and make it worse. Anyway, let's get to putting all of these clothes away. them and just like emptied out my old handbags I haven't used this handbag in a really really long time but there's so much random stuff in here a sock a tie-dye mask some very old fisherman's friends mints what else have we got in here a little like ring light thing that clips onto your phone some hand cream another one of those lights for your phone <laughs> a little tripod Panadol Codrel perfume, a personal safety alarm, headphones, like the actual headphones with a wire. I haven't used them in a while. Two lots of hand sanitizer, lip gloss, a little mirror, notebook, and then a bunch of like receipts and stuff like that. So yeah, this needs to go. Brayden's now got on a roll with the, the organizing as well. Mm. You've literally pulled out your whole wardrobe. I have. I've been telling you to do that for a while. <laughs> I feel like once you start, you can't stop. Hey, it's kind of well, like... This is one thing I've been meaning to do. Like it's, um, it's not nothing in particular. It's just reorganizing a few things. So it's like a bit less yeah. random stuff just sitting in random places. Yeah. So. No, but like once we get the momentum going, it's like, okay, well, we might as well just like organize everything. Let me turn on the bathroom light so I can show you guys what I mean about the mold. But bear in mind, there is an extractor fan, so you might not be able to hear too much. But this is, this is what our ceiling is looking like. It's not great at all. Like, look, there's little spores all over the ceiling and... Yeah, I'm not sure if the extractor fan's working great, but we do clean it and we've been trying to clean the ceiling, but it just keeps coming back. So we're just like, um, I don't know what's going on above us, like if they've got a leak or something, but this is not good. Like look at all of that. So I was like, surely that's not good for our health, for us to be inhaling that. Because when we're in the shower and it all steams up, surely that like adds more moisture and it's not good for us to inhale all of that so i'm gonna move all of this stuff into the other bathroom and we're just gonna basically like evacuate this room until we sort this like mold problem out dinner is in the oven we're having salmon bowl tonight and my feet are sore i swear when i have these cleaning days my feet literally get sore i'm like if i was wearing my apple watch i reckon i would have done well over 10,000 steps just from walking back and forth Anyway, we've still got more to do. We still need to like clean the bathroom and we're gonna try and like attempt to get rid of the mold again. But before we do that, we're gonna have dinner because we're just like, oh, let's just like have dinner and then we can get ourselves disgusting in there and then we can shower and go to bed. But I'm gonna do our online grocery shop now while I wait. I've started doing this recently. 
literally only the past couple of weeks. I'm like, oh my gosh, literally a game changer. I think the last time that I tried to do an online grocery shop was around COVID time. So it was obviously really popular for everyone to do it then. And I found it a little bit more difficult. Like it didn't seem that convenient. I feel like the delivery times were a little bit weird, but we've been getting our food from Woolworths and it's been so good for just like being able to track how much we're spending. And also like, I love the fact that everything just saves to like a list of everything that you've bought before. So you can just kind of like add it. So it just makes things really easy. This sounds like an ad obviously not but if you haven't done like online grocery shopping it's very convenient i must say okay so like i said earlier i wanted to move all of the things in the shower to the other shower so that's what i did and then i got started with the cleaning so to begin with i did the sink i gave it a little wipe and disinfected it before going in with the pink stuff paste and i just scrubbed everywhere with this and i just used the multi-purpose spray to wipe down the surfaces and then i cleaned the mirrors with the window and glass cleaner then i moved on to cleaning the toilet i just bleached this and let that sit there for a while and I bleached around the toilet as well to make sure it was all super clean. Cleaning this bathroom was actually quite a big job so I didn't film all of it especially when we were getting the mold off of the ceiling. Brayden did all of that and he did a really good job but I did then go in and clean the shower screens and for this I just use a mixture of vinegar, washing detergent and water and I spray it all over and then wipe it and then squeegee it down and it works so well if you're looking for an easy way to clean your shower screens. But this isn't after, as you can see, it got a lot better. We just used vinegar to get the mold off on the ceiling. It's still not perfect, but we made a lot of progress. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.